Hey everyone, welcome to my newly reimagined Lightroom in a Snap series. In this episode, we're going to take a slightly closer look at the calibration panel in Lightroom Classic. Please note the calibration panel is not available in the Lightroom Cloud version. You'll only find this in Lightroom Classic. Starting out, I generally apply the profile I want. In this case, I used my camera matching camera landscape profile and make any basic adjustments to exposure, highlights, and shadows, as well as setting my color temperature. Then I'll jump to my calibration panel to start working on the colors. I always start with the blue slider here. It usually has the best overall balance when increasing the saturation value, but I do use the red and green saturation sliders too, depending on the image. Now you may be asking, how is this different than adjusting the blue saturation under the HSL panel? The calibration sliders are adjusting the blend of red, green, and blue, or RGB, in every single pixel of the image. Keep in mind, every color is made up of some mixture of RGB. The hue, saturation, and luminance sliders in that panel are adjusting only the pixels that are determined to be a specific color based on that RGB blend. So adjusting the blue HSL slider, in this case, saturation only impacts pixels that appear blue, while adjusting the blue sliders in the calibration panel adjust how much blue is in every single pixel across the entire image. I like to bump the blue saturation under calibration to around 35 as it provides a nice boost to all the colors without going too crazy. If I play with the red and green sliders, you can see that they also have an impact on the image, but the effect is slightly different from using the blue slider. To make this clearer, let's look at a different image with the blue slider already all the way up to 100 to really show the difference here. And then we'll look at the same image with the green slider at 100 and blue at zero. And lastly, the same image with a huge impact with the red slider all the way to 100, while the green and blue saturation sliders under calibration remain at zero. So although they each have an impact, it is slightly different from color to color as you make these adjustments. I usually leave the hue slider alone unless I feel an image has an odd color cast that needs to be corrected. Playing with these calibration sliders is a great way to add some beautiful pop to an image's colors in what I find to be a more balanced manner than using the vibrance or saturation sliders within the basic panel. And with that, this has been Lightroom and a Snap.